Hi, and welcome to Dittmer Knittery. My name is Bev, and whether you are a new viewer or a returning viewer, I'm really happy to have you here today. And today, I have two fun and exciting things. I think this will be a fairly short video. I'm just going to talk about a couple of things that I've been planning, and I've mentioned that there's been planning so here's some things that are now actually going to happen. I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't put out a video last week because I spent that time making a video that you will get to see tomorrow. And that video is part of a channel hop put together by Kim the Crafty Nomad. She has put together a great group of YouTube makers, YouTube um, content creators, makers who have created videos featuring their spring projects. Um, all the videos will be released on the first day of spring tomorrow. And like I said, I made my video um, last weekend. I've sent it to Kim so it can be released with all these um, spring yarny YouTube hop videos. Um, links to all the channels are in my description box and it's really an honor to be included um, with all of these makers. It's, it's really exciting. I hope you'll watch. Next, I have a giveaway for viewers and or content creators. The rules, of course, are in the description box and this video is one of six chances to win a small prize. One winner from this video, other chances to win in the future, and do see the rules. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, email or comment. And now I have a short clip of what I have to give away. Here I have several ounces of wool roving of various colors and some I have quite a lot of and some there's just a little bit but overall look at this again this is wool roving probably most suitable for what's called wet felting, where you use these fibers to felt and shrink and create felt fabric or other items. Now, the reason I'm showing you and telling you about this is I don't do that kind of felting. I don't do wet felting. I do hot water immersion felting. I do use water and agitation to felt knitted and crocheted items. I also do needle felting. But this kind of fiber is not best for needle felting. This fiber, all these fibers are quite fine. And so it's rather difficult to needle felt it because it's hard for the needle to catch those long, fine fibers. And when I talk about needle felting, I'll tell you more about what is suitable. But I only mention that here to say, this is really what I think is suitable for wet felting. And one of the things you can do with this fiber, one of the things you can do with wet felting is to felt soap. Now, if you've been watching Katrina on Mindful Crafts and More, you might have some idea what I'm talking about. And we'll talk more about Katrina and Mindful Crafts and More in just a moment, I wanted you to see these fibers. Ooh, 
all that luscious fiber. I hope you liked it, and I hope you'd like to have some of it. I don't get the opportunity to give things away very often. And when I do, I like to make it a little bit of a challenge. This time, I am promoting Katrina's channel, Mindful Crafts and More. And the challenge, the twist is, you have to watch this video. Then you have to watch one of her videos and comment on both videos. And of course, you have to be a member of Katrina's channel, Mindful Crafts and More. And you have to be a member of my channel. And be sure to check the rules in this description box. Um, again, you have to watch one of her videos. And today, the video I'm going to ask you to watch is Katrina's March 9th video. And the name of it is Updates and Shoutouts to Bev and Kim. On, on that video... Leave a comment with my name in it. Anything, something like Bev sent me, something like that. Then comment on this video, on my video, with the name of the tool that Katrina uses to tat. Again, on this video, comment with the name of the tool that Katrina uses to tat. Watch her video, comment with something about my name, Bev, B-E-V, and then comment on my video with the name of the tool that Katrina uses to create her beautiful tatted items. As always, I invite comments and emails, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a lot of fun here, and I hope you're having fun too. Um... Hop into spring by watching the Spring Yarny YouTube Hop videos. Go to those channels. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go to Katrina's channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you the next time.